Hold up. Oh, okay, I've been waiting for this. Okay. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Hold up. Can you guys give me, give me just... Feels so fucking good. Oh, it feels so fucking good. <sighs> okay, let's continue. What makes me the Ludwig guy? You've probably never seen me on Ludwig's channel. I love Ludwig if you don't know who he is. Fastest growing Twitch streamer. Great guy, great content creator, all that kind of stuff. Well, why am I the Ludwig guy? Well, if we go back, I think around 10 or 11 months ago, Ludwig was doing a certain contest, which he put on his Twitter. I need a new best friend. Send me your Bumble BFF profile and I will review them tomorrow on stream. I saw this, I was just hanging out and I was like, you know, this would be a pretty good time to leech. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna go and submit a profile into this contest. And I had something kind of interesting. You guys are telling me to apologize. This is the top post of my subreddit for today. It is the Switch logo because the, the, dun -dun, the thing, the controller, the joysticks are uneven like my eyes. It is the top post. That made me pretty sure that I would be picked. This was my Ludwig BFF profile. So, you know, it started out pretty well. It just has me sitting right there. I made a stupid joke. I can hold my breath for over two minutes. Made a joke about his thing with zero parents, zero losses. And said looking for a gamer. Because if you notice in his tweet or somewhere. So it says, make sure to add looking for a gamer. Winky face. Add these. This could be you. One of my best friends right there. Says some other things. This could be you. I, you know, I thought it was a pretty good profile. But then I had a certain something that made me pretty certain that I would get picked. Making a pretty bad video for Mr. Beast when he had 10k subs that's still on his channel. Now pretty much nobody knows that I did this. But it is a thing that I did. And I knew that me putting this on my profile would pretty much have me have a really good chance of getting on Ludwig's channel and being able to do this BFF competition. So yeah, basically I went ahead and I submitted that profile. I think he did it like the next night or something like that. And I was watching the stream and he was basically going through picking some different people, going through their profiles. But then I noticed something. When I put in the looking for a gamer thing, there's actually an option on Bumble where you can say, I am this looking for this. I just put that in my description. Other people did that too, and no one in the chat liked that. So I was getting a little bit nervous. I was like, all right, I still got the Mr. Beast thing at the very least. Things kept going by and going by, and I was waiting for me to show up. I did it pretty soon. I think like an hour after he put out the tweet. I thought I had a pretty good chance of getting there, but you know, more and more people got picked and it was getting less and less likely. And then finally he picked the last person. I think it was six people in total. And I was like, okay, so whatever, no harm, no foul. So I just went, got ready for bed, went and used the bathroom and all that stuff, closed the stream. But then before bed, I was like, I'm gonna check out Ludwig's stream again. And it turned out that one of the people was using regular Bumble instead of Bumble BFF. And so one of the picked Drama! people had to get taken out of the competition just because of that. And Ludwig was back to finding a new person. Now I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of bad for that person, but I was like, all right, this is my chance. Maybe I will get picked. He went by, did a couple more people, a couple more people. I was like, please just make me show up. And on number 69, thank you, Funky. That is when I showed up. He was going, looking at all my nice. stuff, you know, having a little bit of laughs over the could be you thing, you know, all that kind of stuff. He was enjoying the profile, but he did comment on the looking for a gamer thing and how I didn't have that in my actual options. So it was looking like kind of a problem. And then finally, he got down to the Mr. Beast thing. And that's when I had him. My very, very, very small connection with Mr. Beast is more than a lot of people have. People like seeing that. So he it's went cool. ahead. It is and cool. And he was like, oh, but he didn't put the link on the Imgur page. I didn't put the link there, but thankfully, since I came back to the stream, I actually had a chance. So I went, I like speed brain dead to not put the, the link over going to YouTube, trying to find the video, copying the link, putting it in chat multiple times. He didn't see it. Eventually people in chat noticed that I was in. I just saw someone put a heart in chat and not get ignored. Hearts should not be put in with reciprocation in mind. You do not give out love in hoping love will be returned. That's not how love works. That's fake love chat and they started posting it as well and finally 
he found the video. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a very bad video. Mr. Beast liked it at the time. I liked it at the time. I don't recommend looking it up, but it was just enough to get me to the point where I was able to overcome the looking for the gamer stuff. Uh -huh. I was able to overcome all the bad things I had about my profile. True. And we made it. And Ludwig didn't notify me at all for a while. So he was talking about it on stream every once in a while. And he was like, yeah, it's going to come up soon. It's going to be really cool. It'll probably be this weekend. And I was like, awesome. That's going to be great. Now, before that happened, after he reviewed my profile, I went to his Twitter and I DM'd him and was like, hey, do you mind if I put up you looking at my profile on my channel? And he didn't respond. But Ludwig has said before on his stream that if he doesn't respond to one of your DMs, he might have just not seen it. So I tried messaging him twice more, the exact same message, just the same thing over and over again, because, you know, that's for YouTube content. And he just didn't respond. <laughs> and he wasn't contacting me about the BFF profile thing. <laughs> like a week went by. And then finally, he sent me a Twitch message and he said, hey, what's your Discord? And I even messaged him. Let me see if I can pull it up. I said, what's up? And I didn't really get a response back. You know, I think he was just a little busy. Yeah, obviously, he would have loved to respond to me. But anyway, he put me in a group chat with all the other competitors in the BFF competition then. I Never ask if you can do something. Just fucking do it. And then if I get mad at it, I'll ask you to take it down. But it's way easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. It is so much harder if every single person who ever wanted to use any of my likeness in a YouTube video to get permission. I would never have the time. And look. There are a fuck ton of people who just posts my clips. Alright? Regardless of their success all the time. It, it, it happens all the goddamn time. From random ass people. It's, it's fine. What am I going to do? I can't stop them all. There are too many. I can't, and I can't respond. I, I can't respond to Papega Clips, Trisad, Out of Context, Twitch Zaddy, Twitch Room. Wasn't Just run it up, baby. Exactly sure. You think I asked for permission from fucking all the people whose shit I've yoinked? You think I'm like, yo, unusual memes. Yo, Daily Dose. Yo, Geo Wizard. Yo, what's going on? Hey, can I can I use your thing, KSI? Fuck no. What was gonna happen with it? Because I guess I haven't explained what it is yet. Basically, how Ludwig described it is it was going to be a game show about him. So we had to know facts, trivia, all that kind of stuff about him, True. and then we had to compete against each other. Yeah. And I probably should have also mentioned that the prize was a thousand dollars and yeah, so, you know, there and the title of best friend to be honest, my only friend on this. My biggest reason was I just wanted the content and I wanted to leech because, you know, it is what it is. Now, he has said in his stream and I was in his stream at earlier times and he was talking about it a little bit like, yeah, for the BFF competition, it's going to be different things about me. It might be like what songs I play on my stream, different facts about me, my emotes, things like that. I heard him. I heard him say that I was in the stream when he said that. But for some reason, I did not decide to actually study up on that. What I did instead was I googled Ludwig Ogren and found a wiki page that was this long. And I said, you know what? I probably know enough about Ludwig. That page is all fake. It says I'm four foot six. Ludwig, I'm not going to research any of this. It'll probably be fine. What's the worst that can happen? So we made it into the competition. The first round was just random facts about him. There were just different facts about things he said, things he's done, things about him. And it kind of got worse and worse. At the end, it was me and another person. Finally, a question that I knew for sure came up. So the question was, he used to have a pair of headsets that did not work in which year? And I don't know how I knew this. I don't really know what stream I remembered this from, but immediately I knew it was his left ear. I just knew it. I just, <laughs> so I said his left ear. Wait, his left? I thought it was right. It on to the next round we made it through then second round he was talking about the music he plays on stream and he started out with the songs specifically the songs 
that he talked about as examples in a stream earlier that he might use if i just did the tiniest bit of research because remember i heard all about this i heard about him saying you know there might be songs i play on stream and he put up a couple examples and he was like oh for this one if you say it's this song like i heard all about this i had all the time in the world to research to memorize that stuff but i didn't because i didn't think those were the actual songs he would use for one of them it was bramble blast on super smash brothers brawl and I said, what is your guess? I don't know if you'll take it, but the Subspace Emissary song. No, I will not take it. It's a disgrace to the song's name. And, you know, then the next question right after that was one I actually knew, which was Gerudo Valley. And I would have gotten that one right if I didn't mess that up. Because the way the competition worked was basically if you got a wrong answer, you couldn't answer for the question directly after that. So because I decided Fair rule. to be really stupid and think that maybe that would work. Yeah, it was. But things kept going on and on and on and eventually i lost i lost in the second round if i did the smallest amount of studying i can't could have we could have been best fucking friends we would have been hanging out every day pad. so you know it is what it is i decided to end it off in a great way though because you know youtubers they love content true and we also love subscribers and i true. knew the perfect way to get both Ludwig subscribers and me subscribers. Get Ludwig subscribers so that he would put this part in the video. And get me subscribers so, you know, you know, I I, I want- Cause you're vain. And subscribers I want to delete. So I did a Ludwig 7 and then this. I just wanna say, I think it's pathetic that like, probably about 50% of the people who watch your YouTube videos are not currently subscribed to your channel. So, so true. go and subscribe right now. What an insanely accurate point. Easy speezy on YouTube as well. Okay, all right. Jeez. What a mogul move, chat. What a mogul move. Shameless. Of course it was shameless. Shameless, bro. But whatever. Fucking it is what it is. shameless, chat, it bro. It is what it is. Yeah, the competition ended. It turned out that one of the people in the competition on the song part actually cheated. You can go watch Ludwig's video if you want to see that part. But that was the thing that happened too. So technically I shouldn't have gotten out at that part, but it also doesn't really matter. I don't really care that much. He still does deny that he did cheat. And I don't know if he actually did or not. It makes for a good storyline regardless. So anyway, um, didn't become Ludwig's BFF, didn't win any money, and got about 200 subscribers out of it. Wow. So it was a pretty worth it experience. That's and like worth. I said, this was, what date was this? February 28th, 2020 was when this was posted. We're now in 2021. So this was a while ago and people still give me comments like, hey, it's that Ludwig guy. And you know, the comment that we started this video out with, which was, hey, you're only ever going to be relevant for being on Ludwig's show. Yeah, I know. And you know, the only reason I decided to make this entire story was so I could say follow me on Twitter. Oh, Motherfucker! Yeah, I also forgot to say, um, you know that whole thing about me asking if I could post the video? Ludwig was like, yeah, easy speezy. I saw those messages you put on Twitter. I just didn't respond to them because I was like, whatever, just do it. Why, why are you asking me if you can post it? Just post it. Yeah. And then I did post it and it got way less views than my normal videos. So then I deleted the video. Yeah, obviously just fucking post it. This video, by the way, fucking sucks because all the comments are literally just roasting me. A lot of people just backing him up. I didn't even know you had anything to do with Ludwig. That's fine. That's fine. You're the speedrunning guy. Actually, Ludwig's the easy speezy guy. You're the only reason I learned from him. Why do you got to fucking who all me? I didn't ask for this. I had no idea who Ludwig was. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Love it. Fairy Pog. Me pretending I know who Ludwig is. Nice. This is great. This is great. Fucking love it! Thank you, Easy Speezy! Anyway, the cool part about it is that Easy Speezy's YouTube blew up since he was in my video. So shout out to Easy Speezy, making it work, making it happen.